Yeah, M Michael Dick from, from, from MEC, um, and uh, thanks for inviting me along. Um, I, I, I know there's a, there's a couple of members in the front row here who've just subconsciously checked whether <laughs> the sleeve here still has the tag on it. Um, and, and Abby, who works with me at MEC, is, is sitting there going, I had no idea that Michael had ever been to a dry cleaners. But uh, su such is that. Um, uh, w what can I say about insight to, to, to a room of experts? My experience talking about insight is, um, you know, if you have four people in a room, you probably have about 10 or 15 opinions, and so on and so forth. Um, so I'm going to take a very very specific line through this. Um, a, a, a quick quick look at um, how I'll do that. I, I think it's worth just, just pausing and, and saying, what is Insight? What's it all about? Um, uh, old or modern brief. Looking at it briefly in the, in the context of the old brief, and then um, e exploring it in, in how the, the, the modern brief now works. And it's quite useful uh, from Glyn just to have had a little bit of that process. And, and hopefully um, the, the, th the two presentations, even though we didn't um, compare notes, will, will work um, well together. Um, so uh, the perspective I bring to this is I'm not a, a marketing scientist. Um, I think there's, there's lots of people, uh, probably even in this room, who um, you know, have more of the sort of A to Z on, on what insight actually means. Um, you know, I'm bringing you the perspective of someone who's worked um, uh, recently at MEC, but for them many years before that at Coca-Cola, putting campaigns, big, small, um, medium and large, together in, ma in many different ways. So the real raw experience of, of insight coming into campaigns and trying to deliver something that's, that's fantastic and interesting and, and creative. Um, so that, that's where, that's where I'm, I'm, I'm coming from. Um, I, th I think it's worth talking about insight and just trying to put some sort of definition on it, um, not least because what I hear time and time again when briefs come in is, you know, the insight on this brief just isn't very powerful, either the brief from the client or the brief that's going, going through the agency. Um, and, and so there's, there's a few things that I've heard in, in my journey, um, uh, just, just, just three thoughts. W one is, uh, is about clarity. Um, and uh, as this little kid here just jumping straight to the answer here is a bit of a clue. Um, I think sometimes just instead of going through the kind of rocket scientist diagnosis of the data, um, getting, getting to something that's a steaming bloody obvious but requires maybe a bit of lateral thinking to get to it is, um, is, is one of the sort of thoughts about insight. Something that when you stand back from it, you look at it and go, yeah, why hasn't anyone thought of that before? But it, it, it makes a lot of sense. So I think that's sort of acid test number one. Um, acid test number two, uh, in my mind, is all about actionability. Um, and uh, I, I call this a so what test. Um, you know, if you have an insight, it's on the table, you're looking at it, um, does it suggest action? Does it suggest, you know, how you're going to move into the communication process, into creativity? Uh, does it suggest why that solution will then deliver the business result? So I think, um, you know, actionability, that, that so what test is, is, is another nice thing to be thinking about as you, as you, as you put insights on the table and deal with them. Um, and the third thing is, you know, if insight is, uh, as I would uh, propose, uh, provoke, whatever, um, you know, insight is the lifeblood of creativity. Um, and if, if insight is the lifeblood of creativity, can you look at the insight and say, does this inspire us? Uh, you know, today isn't just another great day, I'll go and create something beautiful. The, the you know, w w why is insight going to set you up for something wonderful and interesting as you go through the process in, in, in the modern brief or I indeed in the old brief? So, you know, uh, as uh, people like Wendy Gordon have pointed out many times in the past, go and, re go and read her work, you know, um, don't confuse data or statistics or, you know, points of view w with insight. Um, uh, I, I think there's, there's some of those are as relevant in the modern brief as uh, they, they were in the old brief. So what is the difference then between old brief and and uh, modern brief. I think the, the you know, I'm, I'm old enough um, to have seen lots of old briefs, um, as um, the actress said to the barrister. Sorry, it's a, it's a very poor joke there. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, the, the, you know, my, my sense about the old brief is, is actually, you know, a little bit about the, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> ah, okay, there we go. Uh, obviously not clicking in the right way this morning. Um, you know, if you look at the, the, old, the old briefs, it was, it was very much, um, I think as Glenn's just been talking about, you know, it's about process and, um, you know, the way the insight was working was assuming a very linear process. You know, you can have an insight, you know, maybe at the client side, you know, this is the way that consumers will buy my product, this is the insight 
around why they will buy the product, and, and therefore this is the, the communication that we want against that, the kind of the old ADA models that are purchasing, very, very linear, or the kind of process of brief ad agency, TV ad, to get a media agency to go and buy the spot, very, very linear, very, very linear role. I think also for the way that Insight has been involved in these briefs. Um, and I'm fine actually with the idea of an insight driving a creative idea, really kind of humming through a process and being quite single-minded. Um, but I suppose my concern is when you get this kind of what I call tunnel vision going through, through, through the, the communication development, where that insight and that then precludes the ability for campaigns to evolve, go to other places, uh, you know, and bring in some of the kind of other things that I think modern briefs require, modern communication solutions um, really need. And, um, you know, let's then go on to the modern brief. You know, for me, the modern brief is operating in a very, very different context. Even from two or three years ago, um, I think things are moving on and they'll, they'll move on fast. Why? Because, you know, the modern world isn't linear. Uh, as it's been pointed out many times, you know, it, it, it uh, has some shapes in it, but it's uh, multi-layered uh, communications are reaching consumers in, in many, many different ways. Um, so you know, I, I, I tend to think of the, the communication approach, and this is just a, a very blurred screen grab from the credits from Avatar, you know, the, the communication approach involving very many, many people. Um, and you can almost look at uh, communication solutions coming from different sources. It's great to actually have the, the first presentation where you talk about a different uh, approach from just a, a creative team. This is no longer the kind of lone wolf creative working with a planner. This is about bringing in different points of view <coughs> all the way through. So uh, here's my uh, cute kitten shot. Take the cat ca count up to about 53. Um, you know, and I promise you if, you, if you do Google multifaceted, this is what you get. Um, <laughs> But uh, you know, I think the, the insights are now kind of coming into the process in a very multifaceted way. You know, what's the insight behind the brand purpose that's really going to set up the brief? What's the insight behind the kind of purchase network? What is the insight behind the kind of cultural and connection context? What's the insight behind specific touch points? Um, and it, uh, you know, the, the 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 role of insight I think is is therefore very movable. You know, it's very live. Uh, MEC, you know, they talk about three, 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 where the first three is three seconds in a digital campaign. You know, using insight very, very fast, very, very quickly uh, to make changes and move things forward. So insight has to be a whole lot more nimble um, uh, in terms of the way we treat it. And I think that means that insight is, you know, when it comes to judging insight, being able to get to insight, the role, is, as Albert here says, you know. Intu intuition is so much more important. Um, in intuitive mind is a sacred gift. The rational mind is a, f a faithful servant, of course. You know, what he's saying is, is um, we, we spent too much time with that rational servant. Um, and then you know, bringing intuition, not rushing off to focus groups um, you know, all, all the time to tell yourself whether insight is right or wrong, <laughs> means that you should also allow for that kind of shaping and editing of insight in a very, very live way. And I think that means not just shaping an insight in terms of the way the communication process is going, but also shaping it all the way back to some of the things that the client might have proposed at the very start of the brief. Um, what it also says is, you know, forget the monopoly that you think you might have within your agency or you know, your business on, on insight. I think insight needs to be owned by far more people um, and bringing, bringing it into the process. And just a couple of sort of thoughts to, to finish off, you know. It, it really, you know, t t to get to great solutions, I think, also requires a real leap of faith. Um, leap of faith in a couple of ways. In my mind, some of the hardest insights to get to in the communication process are the ones where people can spot a way of connecting all the pieces and bringing them back together again. Um, and that often requires a real leap of imagination to say, I think this could work with this because of this, because of this is how consumers are, are thinking about it. And then old world or <laughs> modern world, you know, back to that inspiration thing. I mean, John Cleese, I saw him in a documentary the other day talking about uh, Life of Brian and other stuff, and he was, he was saying, you know, it's not as if we, we wrote, went away and wrote about the follies of man, you know, some sort of, you know, bog standard insight. He said, we sat in a chemist's shop for a couple of hours and funny things came to our head. So it's not like I equals, you know, insight equals C, creativity. Insight is here, and often you have to make a massive leap of imagination. So, 
you know, don't, at the front end of the process, allow things to be tied down, you know, insight, putting a straitjacket on how things are going to work. Do set up the insight process and the way you work with insight to allow stuff to flourish to get to great communication solutions. Thank you. <laughs>